So, unbelievingly, it was rendered correctly. Uh, while the video was rendered, I just realized that here we, um, the connection between our mirrors is not correctly again, so we will just do like we do all the time. And that happens. Um, select all of them as box plot. Uh, check if we really selected all of them. Yes, we did. And scale via the x axis to zero. And now it's perfectly round. So, and uh, what we wanted to do is rapidly um, increase this, this um, size the last time. We will just select those vertices again. Um, by the way, uh, you can split your uh, view by pressing this um, this thing this thing here and just dragging your screen to the right, and then you have this doubled. This is quite practical uh, if you model something, since you can now have a look from the side to it and from the up on the same time. So let's see if we already extruded it now. So if we extrude it um, and move it. We will see it in both um, views, which you can't since this is perfectly moved downwards right now. But if, it, if I do, for example, that, you will see that both are moving at the same time. So we uh, reduced the height of this extruded stuff, but I didn't want it to, to have to, uh, to be it so much. So I will just again extrude it and increase its size this time a little bit and move it again correctly like that and uh, now I want to extrude it with a white material again extrude size a bit move it correctly and then select the previous material again extrude it again a little bit and again shape it correctly and extrude it again and move it upwards a little bit again then we have something like a hole uh, here with a white light inside which might look nice maybe not let's see the final how the final result will look so now we have to extrude it again size uh, scale it again and do that and we will decrease its size again a little bit like that uh, let it do it a little bit uh, uh, let's do it a little bit uh, bigger, like that, and now we really have a not so bad shape, I think. <coughs> oh, that's now, uh, since here we want to um, make a rounded uh, shape, rounded edge, we want to extrude it again a little bit, increase its size, oh, yeah. so scale its size up, like that and move it a little bit down again, a little bit so, and the subsurface will make sure that this uh, edge is rounded um, here I think it shouldn't look like that let's see, it should I don't, of course it has to be like that, but still let's make it perfect, so it's perfect it's perfect, perfect uh, now we have to add a um, window to it. I will do that in the third part of this tutorial, but uh, you will not see it.